Hello everyone, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to this week, episode 18 of Thursday Thoughts. Roll the new intro. Welcome everybody, I'm Michael Ingledew, Managing Director of Tech Data World, and I'm all about making you successful with your technical information and support information for your products, platforms, and organizations. Please link with me on LinkedIn. Send me messages through all of the social media channels. Make sure you share all of this content with your fellow professionals. So if you've never been and joined us on Thursday Thoughts before, I like to do th go through some of the industry news. I go through some of the TDW news, and then I go through some of the questions that have come into us here at TDW. The office is really warm again today, so if I start perspiring, I'll start rubbing my face, I apologize. It's better than putting on the air conditioning unit, which sounds like I have a chieftain tank running through the office and um, makes it much more pleasant for you to watch. So last week I was in Germany, which is why there was no Thursday thoughts last week. I was training a client, it's quite intense week, and there was lots of work for me to do in the evening to uh, make sure the client was happy. And some of you did actually send in some questions that you needed help with. So that also took up a lot of my time. And yes, Claire did join me in Germany and uh, we did manage to take a day off going around and doing some stuff as well. So some of the industry news again. I put all of the links below in the blog post so you can go off and you can have a look at A, who wrote the article and B, uh, educate yourself on the stuff that I'm kind of out there finding and seeing and, and, you know, doing all that stuff. So on the BBC News, I saw on the technology blog that they are warning supply chains or they're going to be at increased risk of cyber attacks, which is something I know Peter Stoddard is going to talk about at the TDW Live conference this year. And if you haven't registered yet, you should register soon. We are way ahead on numbers of last year, and I've got some. I've got a couple of questions came in about TDW Live, which I'll answer very shortly. This one I'm going to do a separate blog on because I think this is super interesting. U.S. technical manuals being found on the dark web for sale for 150 U.S. dollars, and it turns out the from what I've read from the articles that I've seen. Again, link below. Somebody put some technical manuals on an unsecure FTP server. This was then infiltrated and those manuals were stolen and they are now available on the dark web for as little as 150 US dollars. So I'm going to do a little bit of a blog on that because I think that's super interesting and I'm sure somebody certainly got their backside tickled for that for a little while but um, you know that this just proves that you know we've got to be super careful with what we do with our technical manuals and our technical content and how we how we deploy it and who we deploy it to. You know, 150 US dollars for a technical manual that probably contains state secrets or, you know, something along those lines is absolutely shocking. Camel Laird has announced that they have built a 2000 strong supply chain for the new frigates that they're going to build. And Again, I know my friends at Aspire are involved at some level in this, and it would make sense that you go and have a read of that. Certainly if you are in the supply chain components and manufacturing and that kind of stuff, I know that they are they have been having some supply chain briefings. So it might be worthwhile getting on their lists or introducing yourself to them. And I thought that was super interesting. Another interesting article, you're saying lots of interestings this week, because it's all interesting. We're all finding this interesting. Uh, Liber Aerospace are getting into the uh, after aftermarket, but they're actually going for aircraft that are being dismantled, that have got some of their old components on. They're then buying back those components, refurbishing them, and then reselling them back on. I guess that has, a, has an impact on technical information. Makes sense. They are the IP owners. And I thought that was interesting. The big news of the week was, if you haven't seen it yet, was the Adobe Tech Com Suite 29 release was formally announced by Adobe. They did invite me to a press briefing last week, 
but unfortunately I was in Germany doing some training. I have got access to some press packs and that kind of stuff. I have already looked, in fact, FrameMaker is open behind me there. The support team have just helped me get it installed on this machine. There, there are some very interesting features which I'm going to uh, familiarize myself with and then we'll do some tutorials on that. Mainly connecting to external repositories. Looks like this has now been fixed. If you have uh, used a previous version of a, the Adobe TechCom suite and uh, tried to connect it to SharePoint and if you're on 365, it certainly didn't work and Adobe admitted it didn't work. It looks like that may have been fixed. So I'm going to go and have a test with that, have a play with that. And um, hopefully that will be something that I can bring to you as a tutorial, whether I put it on TDIQ or whether I put it on the free area, I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. It depends how valuable it is or how valuable I think it is. Right, so I'm going to go through some of the TDW news and then I'm going to come on to some questions. I'll keep looking down because my notes, which are on my Evernote here, are um, in absolutely no particular order. If you've seen the content that we've released this week, trying to catch up for last week, we've thrown bucket loads of stuff out there. SDL, they contacted me last week asking if I could help on Thursday Thoughts last week to promote a webinar that they were doing. The webinar actually happened yesterday, so if you missed it, and you want to see it, let me know and I'll, I'll introduce you to somebody at SDL. They, they did a webinar on S1000D and translating S1000D content, which is something that I know that Mike Davis and I spoke about in Seville a couple of years ago, I think. And, you know, it makes sense SDL does this. They are deep domain experts in translation and deep domain experts in lots of areas. And it makes sense that they talk about this in terms of S1000D translation, because not everybody keeps their S1000D data or produces S1000D data in English. It does go out to other areas. Released a podcast this morning, and um, that's my, the five things that wind me up. And in fact, I've just had a phone call from the guys at DCS saying it wasn't there. It is there now. And uh, you know, the yes, some of it's tongue in cheek, but it, it is generally stuff that I that frustrates me and I get frustrated about and I know that it frustrates people like you as well. So go and have a watch and a listen of that. Conversely, A to Z, or I'm saying A to Z, I know some of you have already made Saki comments. Mike, you're British. Don't use the Americanism of Z. It works. A to Z of S1000D. A to Z of S1000D doesn't work. So A to Z of S1000D. I'm going to go through every letter of the alphabet and I'm going to talk about S1000D. I'm going to talk about four or five things within that particular letter that I think you should be considering around S1000D. We released the first one this morning, I think, was made available and it's over on S1000Dworld.com. I know a load of you have already watched it. I want to hear the areas of the alphabet where what you would put in there. So please do send that over to me. But check out s1000dworld.com. You can go and watch that and subscribe to that specific newsletter, which will be all about S1000D World and all about the content that we are producing for that. We've got A to Z's planned for lots of other areas. In fact, some of it's actually pretty fun. So. A huge shout out to both Yana and to Semcon who have renewed their support for TDW this year. So, you know, the guys at, at Yana and Semcon, so Scott and Sean, thank you very much. You know, really appreciate what your support actually gives us the platform to be able to continue to build TDW. So a massive Thank you to Yana and Semcon. If you want to check out their profiles, they're on techdatadirect.info. You can go and check out their profiles, go and have a look at what they're doing. In fact, I think it's Don from Yana is coming to the conference, TDW Live this year. He's a deep domain expert in structured authoring and technical content and S1000D and all these things. Come along and meet Don and, and have a conversation with him. I've attended some of his webinars. Very good, very educational. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure if you've got a library on your website of, of webinars, but, you know, go and check out the Yana website. You can have a look at that. So some questions that came in. I was asked if I could help out with a word template. To be honest, Ian, I. It got buried under a stack of 
emails that I was having to catch up with. I will have a look at that for you as soon as I can, I promise. Um, I have had a quick look. I'm, I'm going to have to go and have a, a deeper look because I know that you're trying to do something very specific. Um, I was asked this week about a non-destructive testing engineer wants to move into technical authoring as a sideline and specifically he wants to move into S1000D. Where does he start? Uh, I think you're going to take a subscription to TDIQ. That's a great place to start. If you can't find the 375 quid for that, then you can just go on over to our YouTube channel and follow some of the free tutorials we do there or create your free account on Tech Data World, which is login.techdataworld.com. And in there, there is a stack of free stuff and free magazines and free articles and that kind of stuff. Also, check out, go to Tech Data, Tech Data, <laughs> I forgot my own website then, techdatadirect.info. All of our member companies are up there. Visit all of their websites. They all pretty much have some kind of resource that's available to you. So you can go and have a look at that and download their stuff that's available. Uh, a friend of mine sent me a message saying, Mike, is there a register of apps? Can we find out who produces the apps? And uh, I answered that for you if you're on the Google Store or if you're on iTunes and that kind of stuff. Generally, you have to sign up as a developer. There are loopholes that you can get around this stuff. But uh, in general, yes, there is a register, but there is an increase in organizations that are distributing applications independent of a store like Google Play or iTunes or any other store that you might want to see. So in general, guys, that's the questions that came in. There was one more about TDW Live. We're not a TDIQ subscriber, we're not a TDW member, but we'd like to buy an online ticket for the TDW Live conference. Now, after much debate, deliberation and discussion here at TDW, no. If you are not a TDW member company and you're not a TDIQ subscriber, then unfortunately we will not be selling just purely online tickets for TDW Live. You need to be... Uh, vested in TDW for you to get access to those presentations online. So, you know, either subscribe to us on TDIQ or if you are a TDW member company, we can tell you how you can access the online presentations for free as they are happening live. We can do that for you. If you want that, just get in touch with us here. Uh, Claire's running all of the conference stuff. So it's Claire at techdataworld.com with an I and an E. And uh, she will more than happily tell you how you can do that. That reminds me with our TDW member companies. Something I've been working on for a very long time is a sales and marketing specific blog for aerospace, defense and space market. Now, if you would like access to that as a TDW vendor member, you can have access to that. All you have to do is contact me directly, mike at techdataworld.com, and I'll tell you about when we're launching it, how you can access it. And it's really how I was successful in the market and you know the kind of things that I did that uh, my customers liked and enjoyed and what made me successful. Sounds a bit um, arrogant. I'm not trying to be arrogant. It's just... You know, the stuff that I, I taught myself to make me successful in the market for this. So if you are a TDW vendor member, you can have your sales team join us on or join me on those blogs and podcasts and that kind of stuff. So listen to the podcast. Go and subscribe over to our channel on the s1000dworld.com where we have those videos are not available on youtube you can only watch those over on s1000dworld.com and then get notified just have to sign up to the newsletter form that is on there so that is it ladies and germs i'm going to be recording probably tomorrow morning the b's of the s1000d world a to Z of S1000D. But uh, until next time, Thursday Thoughts should be back as normal next week. There's a couple of webinars happening next week. I'm joining one on blockchain, which I'm looking forward to because I'm educating myself about blockchain and I'm going to be talking about blockchain and technical documentation at the TDW Live conference. If you haven't signed up to the TDW Live conference yet, please make sure you get in touch with us and uh, 
yeah, we're filling up quite nicely. I think Claire was saying that we're well ahead of numbers for last year. And in fact, I've just been told that there's another guy signing up from France that wants to come over. So more the merrier. Share the love. Let's do that. Guys, thanks ever so much for all of your support, all of the help, all of the um, input that you're giving me to provide TDW as a platform to you. It really makes a massive massive difference with the support and the positive feedback that you guys are sending us and uh, you know there's there's lots of guys actually now using tdw as their kind of sounding block which i really like you know we're thinking about buying this piece of software have you heard of it what do you think uh, love it and that's exactly what i wanted tdw to be anyway guys i hope you liked the new intro but for the outro we're sticking with the old one because i actually quite like it until next week Speak to you soon.